Hey, so first off, I want to start by saying that um, I know I look orange like a Oompa Loompa, but that's okay because the quality for the tutorial is going to look better because I used a better camera. I just used this one to film the introduction. So, yeah. Um, this is going to be the tutorial on the look that I showed you guys yesterday when I filmed my haul video. Um, it's a quick, quick tutorial, quick, quick look using like two products, one, one product, which is this quad from Native Hues, and it's called Autumn Browns. Really pretty. You can't see what it looked like because this crappy camera and lighting, but. Like I said, the quality for the actual um, tutorial is perfect. So just stay tuned and keep watching. And here comes the tutorial now. Okay, so I've already applied um, this Claudia Stevens eyeshadow base primer stuff. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is take this Native Hues. Autumn Brown Squad. <clears throat> and I'm going to be using all of these colors right here. So the first color I want to use is this highlight color right here. And I'm going to put that um hold on. I'm going to put that on my brow. Let's see. And you mainly want to focus it all like right here. And that's it. <clears throat> okay, there we go. And the next color I'm going to use is this brown right here. Well, it's like yeah a light brown right here and I'm gonna take that on a flat brush flat shader brush and just put it all the way hmm well all over the lid stopping at the crease Alright, so we're going to pause from applying the eyeshadow and stuff and focus on my brows because I want to fill it in like I did this one. So, yep. And I'm taking this Wild and Crazy eyeshadow in Duo Mist, the dark brown. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm filling in my eyebrows. I'm actually learning, you guys. High five. Still learning, but I'm better than I was before, so. Thumbs up if I did a good job on filling in my brows, you guys. Alright, so I'm going to apply Great Lash, Great Lash Clear Mascara to my brows to hold this in place so that I won't be looking a hot mess. And it's raining outside too. 
like what I look like walking in some walking somewhere walking into somewhere with half an eyebrow on. But anyway, the next color I'm gonna use is this dark purpley brown color right here. On camera it looks brown, but in real life it's like a purpley dark brownish color. And I'm gonna take that on this angled fluff brush and apply that to the crease. Alright, and I'm also going to take this fluffy chiseled fluff brush or whatever it's called from Coastal Scents and get that same color and just like even out the crease color. Because it looks weird. So that's all you want to do with that. Then the last color I'm applying is this purpley, purpley dark some purple color right here it looks brown on camera I know and I'm gonna take this blending brush right here that I got from TJ Maxx and that's gonna be my color that ties all these colors to, well ties the um, highlight color with the um, crease color so it brings them all together. <sighs> Can you guys see that? So yeah, that's all for the eyeshadows and stuff. So I told you guys that this would be easy and quick. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is take this Sephora Coal and Liner, Waterproof Eyeliner, in Keep Black 01. And <clears throat> just apply this to my waterline because since this is like already like really deep like yeah it's already really deep I didn't want to apply any liner up there so I'm just doing it down here and the mascara will be dark enough for up there if you get what I'm saying Okie dokie, smoky. Alright, and I'm also going to take their eyeshadow in asphalt. Can you see that? Zoom, zoom, zoom. Mine crumbled up, but that's okay because I like this for um, intensifying my liner. So, I'm going to, wherever that brush is, take... A flat liner brush and just like dab some of this color on my waterline so the liner can be a little well can be set and kind of intensified there you go all right and what else um oh I forgot to apply my inner highlight color. So I'm going to go back in. Ah! Oops. Go back in this palette and take this highlight color and just 
dab it right there. Oh my god, my eye twitching. Look at it. Stop. Okay, so. And the last thing. Well, not the last thing, but next to last thing, I'm going to take this mascara. This is Maybelline's Great Lash. And just apply that to my lashes. I don't really curl my lashes, so. Yeah. And to clean up under my eye, eye area, but actually it was no fallout with this eyeshadow. But still, I like to um, apply my Mac Pro Longwear Concealer, and I just take wherever. Like, ooh, why am I losing everything? Where's the brush? Oh, it's right in front of me. Take this brush, a fluffy brush. And just apply that under my eyes. And it makes my eyes glow. And then I set it with this powder, this Carlon powder, blah, blah, blah. For my lips, I applied Nivea. And then on top, I applied their liquid lipstick and chocolate. like that and running out of time I'm trying to hurry up oops so this is the fit oh lord this is the finished look you guys I hope you enjoy comment rate and key rate comment thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching see you in the next video bye